Hello, everyone. My name is Janelle Davis, and for the upcoming 2022 to 2023 school year, I will be the high school biology teacher for Extend Homeschool Tutorial. So getting right into the course, this for this particular course, we'll be using Exploring Creation with Biology. This is the third edition. And this is required. So the required course is a soft bound book. So you want to be careful. It's not like the usual hard bound book that we've had in the past. This is the third edition. Um, another item that's listed but is not required, it is the student notebook, the Exploring Creation with Biology student notebook optional. I did list it because it does lay out or uh, each module, it has area to take notes, it has your own, on your own questions listed, as well as the study guide, which is beneficial and helping to have everything in, to, in one place, along with the definition. So it's a really cool notebook, but it's not required. And I'll talk about what you would need if you don't choose to use this option. Not required, but it's a great resource tool if you prefer to use it. But the textbook is required. And this is the third edition that we'll be using for our tutorial for the upcoming year. So let's talk about the exploring creation high school biology booklet. It's broken out into a 16 module chapters. Um, the books are broken out into cytology, which is really plant and animal cells, um, the structures. It's broken out to ecology, which talks about the relationships between organisms and their physical surroundings. It talks about genetics. Genetics, as we know, are traits or characteristics that are inherited from offspring, I mean, to offspring from their parents as a result of DNA. It also branches out to talk about evolution and how Darwin's uh, theory about evolution has become an accepted standard versus it still being a hypothesis and us looking at a creator and designer in terms of accepting the Darwinism theory. It touches on or goes over microbiology, is looking at the small world of bacteria and viruses, archaea, fungi, protozoa, that, and all that's involved with those in that little bitty world. Along with that is botany. Botany, we talk about the study of plants and their structures and their properties and their biochemical processes. Zoology, we talk about structure classification uh, distribution of animals, and taxonomy, which is a branch of science that talks about classification of organisms. So here is all of what's captured in the 60 mo modules as just a review, just to let you know. So once the student has finished this particular a uh, set of work, they'll be familiar with scientific terminology um, from a biology standpoint, and they'll have hands-on um, with microscope work, dissection labs, lectures, discussions that will also be involved with um, performing lab experiments and um, participating in group discussions and activities are all a part of the high school biology course. And so that is there as well. So once we cover the entire textbook, all the modules um, through each quarter, uh, we will have uh, earned a high school credit that includes with the textbook work, the quizzes or exams, the participation work, uh, the laboratory work as well. So what is needed for your class? So as mentioned before, what is required for your coursework is the Exploring Creation High School Biology third edition is required and that will be required to be with you in class. And so optional is the Exploring Creation Student Notebook for Biology third edition. So that is optional that if you decide to invest in that, it's, it's a great resource, but not required. So, but if you do uh, invest in it, please be sure that you bring your textbook and your student notebook 
with you. If you choose not to purchase the notebook, which is just fine, you can use a three wing binder with loose leaf paper and we can section it out so that your labs are in one place, your definitions are in another place, your on your own questions are in another place, your study guide would be in another section. So those there are listed for sections. Also, it's helpful if you use colored pencils to help to diagram or write out uh, different uh, tasks that we do or descriptions or details, especially when we get into cell life or microscopic work or any of those types of things where we could use a colored pencils to help to process, to learn and to separate out, especially when it comes to labeling. And so moving forward with that, let's talk about how the assignments are driven and what's used to convey or communicate what's needed for your class. And so assignment sheets are generated from a quarter to quarter basis. And so what happens with the assignment sheets from a weekly standpoint, it gives an overview of what is required for the high school biology course. And with that, um, Google Classroom is set up to actually drive the due dates and provide more detail and to let parents and students know what's coming up and what's required and how they're doing and what's missing. So Google Classroom will be the um, authority. It will be the driver. It will be where you'll upload your assignments. So it'll be where you'll have information about what's next or coming up with the weeks to come. So remember, assignment sheets are a great overview. It kind of gives you an idea. So you and I, as a parent teacher, and I as the tutor are partnering with you, you have an overall idea of where I'm headed. And then the students also are able to see exactly where we're headed. And so with Google Classroom, that's where the actual work will be uploaded. That's where the due dates will be listed. And so students will receive grades on their homework assignments, their lab work, their class participation, and all of that will be listed in Google Classroom. And so for parents, here's, as we are partnering together, with you, the tutors, partners with the parent, will need your help to make sure that with tests, um, with quizzes, that they're signed off by the parent teacher so we can make sure that we are operating in integrity and honesty. So homework will be 30% of the grade, labs will be 30%, tests will be 30%, and then any special assignments or projects that are out there will be 10%. And so keep this in mind, with late work, you'll be given um, a week to turn in an assignment. And so after that, it drops a letter grade. And so with extenuating circumstances, we realize things come up, we just need communication. So just reach out, communicate um, from the parent-teacher standpoint to the tutor, then I know that um, a reason for why an assignment might be late. And so keep that in mind. So class time is very important because we only meet twice a week for 55 minute intervals. Um, so we have to be careful about how um, we schedule our time. So it'll be very helpful for students to arrive on time, to not be tardy, um, to not be disruptive, to make sure they have done any pre-reading that is required. So we wanna make sure that when we come to class, we're ready for lab, we're ready to do the discussion, that the student has had some exposure to the um, material so that they're not having to catch up while they're there in class. And so instruction and labs, especially in class, are very important times. So we wanna make sure that we're not lagging in those areas and that we're able to complete um, all that we have assigned for the uh, scheduled days. And so parent expectations. From a parent standpoint, um, you are there with them for the, the three days uh, that are there. So if you're working with them Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I'm working with them on Tuesday and Thursday, I need the parents to help um, to oversee them and to make sure that the work is complete. And as we are talking about high school students, this is a time too where they're showing independence and able to complete their work and upload their work 
um, without needing the oversight. But as the parent teacher, you need to be fully aware of what is required of your students so that they're able to be successful. So when we talk about um, behavior. As um, high schoolers, I, I know they're on it, but we have to make sure that we're demonstrating Christ-like behavior, we're respectful with one another, um, and that we are working together in order to accomplish and to finish a task. So a lot of times maybe they'll be partnered in the lab. And so also is lab safety. We wanna make sure that we're operating and that we are participating in such a manner to where we can complete an assignment or a lab safely with no course playing and to make sure all the material and everything is put back the way it is. And so as a part of that, I'll be looking for their help to uh, work together, but not only that, to help to keep the area clean and tidy. So in terms of unrespectable or uh, unreasonable behavior, so for the first offense, I speak directly to the student. For the second offense, I talk to the parent to try to get help with um, working with that student. And for the third offense, I try to have the parent to come in if possible so that they can observe and maybe help with some of the behavior that's being displayed. And then for the fourth offense, we would go to leadership. So it's always um, handled with Matthew 18 in mind with the hope that we can reconcile and that we can get past any unreasonable unreasonable behavior that's displayed. And so activities. Activities, it's going to be a lot of hands-on activities. Um, the textbook um, reading will mainly be accomplished at home just because of the time that is allotted to us is not as much as you think, which is two teaching days or on-site days or even virtual days, whatever um, tools that we access or use for uh, those teaching opportunities. We just have to make sure that we um, are prepared and ready. So with that said, I hope that you are considering partnering with Extend Homeschool Tutorial for High School Biology. In terms of communication, email is my first choice. Texting is my second. And I so look forward to you. If you have questions, you can definitely email first. And then if, if just give me time to respond and then texting would be second. So with all that said, I uh, hope to be able to partner with you for the upcoming uh, class year of 2022 to 2023. God bless.